In this video, we will look at three examples of determining the probability that a randomly selected data value from a normal distribution has a z-score in the given interval. We'll be determining the probabilities using a table that shows a probability left of a z-score. For part A, we're asked to find the probability the z-score is less than negative 1.5. Let's first locate the z-score of negative 1.5 on the standard normal distribution shown below, which is approximately here. Because we want the probability the z-score is less than negative 1.5, we want to find the probability on the left, or the probability the data value would have a z-score in this region. So going to our table, the percentile in the table gives a percent less than the z-score. So to find the probability the z-score is less than negative 1.5, we simply locate the z-score of negative 1.5 in the table. The corresponding percentage will give us the probability. We'll notice the z-score of negative 1.5 is located here. The corresponding probability is 6.68%. And therefore, the probability the z-score is less than negative 1.5 is approximately 6.68%. For part B, we're asked to find the probability the z-score is greater than negative 1.5. So now we want the probability to the right, or the probability the data value would have a z-score in this region here. When we're trying to find the probability on the right, or to find the percent more than the z-score, we take 100% and then subtract the percent from the table. So again, we just found the probability to the left, or when z is less than negative 1.5 is approximately 6.68%. So it should make sense if we want to find the probability that the z-score is greater than negative 1.5, or the probability on the right, we would take 100% and then subtract 6.68%, which gives us 93.32%. So the probability the z-score is greater than negative 1.5 is approximately 93.32%. And then for the third example, we're asked to find the probability that the z-score is greater than negative 0.4 and less than 1.8. So let's go ahead and model this on the standard normal distribution. The z-score of negative 0.4 is approximately here. And the z-score of 1.8 is approximately here. So we're trying to find the probability the data value will have a z-score in this region here. To find the percent or probability between two z-scores, we subtract the smaller percent from the larger percent given in the table. So let's go back to our table and locate the z-scores of negative 0.4 and 1.8. Negative 0.4 or negative 0.40 is here. The probability to the left is approximately 34.46%. And the z-score of 1.8 is here. The probability to the left is approximately 96.41%. So to find the probability between the z-scores, we subtract 34.46% from 96.41%. So we have approximately 96.41% minus 34.46%, which is equal to 61.95%. And let's look at our graph to see why we are subtracting these percentages. Remember the percent or probabilities from the table give the probabilities or percent to the left. So to find the probability the z-score is in this region here or in this interval, we took 96.41% and subtracted 34.46% because the 96.41% gave us the probability to the left of 1.8 or the probability the z-score is in this region here, again to the left of the z-score of 1.8. And then we subtracted 34.46%, which was the probability the z-score was to the left of negative 0.4, or less than negative 0.4, which should be the probability the z-score is in this region here. And notice how that leaves us with the probability the z-score is between negative 0.4 and 1.8. I hope you found this helpful.